Hello everyone, welcome again uh, to our series, um, The Researcher. As you know, this series is about our investigations, uh, going deeper into, into some of our ancient uh, uh, concepts of our citizen culture. Today I am here um, with uh, Sidoshi Luis Nogueira, our master. Uh, I am with Rebecca Roca Hisho of the European Bulgarian Society and me myself, I am Oscar Monsalve Doyo Cho on the Hombu Doyo here in Valencia, uh, Spain. Today we're talking about um, a really, really interesting uh, concept which is called Komijime and uh, we were wondering, um, Rebecca and I, uh, about this really difficult to know about uh, concept and uh, we were asking our master, Sidoshi Luis Nogueira, about this one. Could you tell us please uh, a little more, Sumasen? Of course. Thank you very much for the question. Uh, Komijime. Uh, as you have been talking, it's, uh, it's a difficult study, an advanced study too. Uh, komi means uh, to crowd, to fill up, and jime, many people confuse because um, things that comes from shimeru, but the shimeru from strangle to choke, and in reality this is to, to lock or to, to, to shut something. Then uh, komijime, it means to, to, to lock uh, someone filling up with, with the full body. The idea is this uh, important part of the ancient uh, or the origins of Osai no Heiho. Uh, komijime, as I explained, it's the idea is to use the limbs of the opponent in order to restrain at the end, is to say that the, uh, the victim will be completely uh, blocked in the ground and it's unable to escape but uh, not for uh, making a, a pressure directly on the hara, but to have the conditions to unroll the body of the opponent in the ground with his own limbs. This is the idea. This could be applied to one opponent, two opponents, Okay, as you have been trained, uh, but the idea comes or starts uh, in the beginning from one upon, and then I think it could be very interesting to understand uh, some uh, dynamics of this movement, of this uh, concept, uh, in order to build up the idea of this full study. Then, please, Oscar San, I think it would be interesting for you. I for example, the most basic idea on Komijime is the following. When you uh, grab me on I, my monotetukubitori, we go for this, and from this position we twist first. I, with, with this twist, he is unable to take out this other limb, and from here I put chance in order to restrain back to that point. From here, just only twist a little or bend this elbow here and this here then this is blocked here and only with a pressure stepping on his uh, his wrist I have the conditions here to take draw my shoulder and cut as I have been explaining here he is unable, unable to take out because this right arm it's under the left arm that it's crossed and we are going to make him uh, at least of them here. Only by stepping we have the control. This is one of the most basic ideas on this, uh, on this study. This part now is the shimmer part, right? This is the part that we are locking and uh, filling up uh, with his limbs in order uh -huh. to complete the idea of what it's uh, this komijime. Could I ask a question to Oscar? Of course. But uh, what do you feel inside? Because from outside, I, I don't know if you are feel, yeah. feeling trapped. When, when, I, when uh, Shitoshi is pressing my, my wrist in this way, uh, this is pressing my this, this uh, arm in a way that I cannot take it out. Because this one is, is uh, taking all my weight on top of the one, uh -huh. of this one, and I cannot take it out. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Many variations could be applied since this position, for example, extending this in order that the elbow is over his forearm, his uh, right forearm, and stepping on the wrist, we have this control, and of course, this is something, uh, aberration from the past technique. 
Many variations could be applied under this study that is a broad study, a wide study. I release in order to injure Oscar Sun. But the main idea on this study is this. Apply pressures from the beginning in order to restrain the enemy, but not for a classical uh, shibaru form, a classical restra uh, restraining technique. The idea is to roll, uh, to, to make a mess with the, with, the, with the limbs in order to apply control and give conditions in any situation to draw your sword to take out by your anthropological origins uh, to take uh, to, to draw a knife to dra draw a small blade in order to kill the the enemy and go out. Remember that our tradition uh, uh, it's uh, it's so much uh, dedicated in order to defend against surprising attacks and escaping from them. Then she does she will not say it is normal because I was not feeling pain. I, I, I was restrained, but yes. I was not feeling pain. This, uh, this is a very important uh, question here. Many people understand that uh, confuse Muriaku, that also you uh, employ the lens maybe on several opponents, but in, in Muriaku you have to feel pain. You use the body in order to control the lens with the same body of the opponent or the body of the other opponent is to, to several enemies around you. But of course, the idea there is to drain the energy of the Hara with feeling, making a very uh, painful twisting technique or locking technique. And in this case, you are not needed to, to feel pain. pain. The idea is to be controlled at least for a time that gives me conditions to draw my weapon, to draw my arms, and kill the enemy. What is the idea? So, thank you so much, uh, Shidoshi Sir, uh, for giving us that, the, this very interesting information. Um, thank you so much for being with us, with us and be attention, pay attention to our next videos, which are going to even deeper on these interesting concepts. Thank you. <laughs>